Now, for the mean, for the mean, we said the standard deviation is required. For the median, so whenever we are presenting the median, so median is what? Median is basically the, the number at the middle position. So here also there is a variation of how the data is deviated from this central value. So there is also one median of the first half and one median of the second half. So the first half median we call the first quantile. Okay, and the here also there is a third. And second is basically the median. So when we are presenting the median interquartile range, IQR. So first and third we also present that. Okay. I'm sorry, but I don't understand the concept of quartiles. Could you please repeat that once again? Yeah, sure. Thanks. So what, what what is median? Median is basically the number which is at middle position. And if the number is at middle position, it means that it divide the data into the two part. Okay. Like, like if I will say like this data set. Okay. So in this data set, basically the me median is what? The average of these two value. Some of here. So if this, this value divides the data into the two part, it means that there is also one middle of possible for first half and one middle possible for second half. And if you have that information also, then you are able to understand that how this data is away from this median value. And that is what we want, deviation, how you are deviated, how your data is deviated from your estimate. Okay, so this is what this figure shows. Okay, so the, this is like the minimum value and the all the values and the maximum value. So data is arranged, ascending. So this is your median value. Okay, so in the this median value divides the data into 50%, 50%, 25, 25, 25, 25. So there is also middle value of this first half. And there is also middle value of this second half. So we try to, you can say simply the median of the first half and the median of the second half. Okay, so median of the first half is basically your first quantile. And median of the second half is basically third quantile. So if you provide that information also along with your median value, then you are also able to understand the how your data is variated and deviated from your median value. Clear? And if I will ask again, see, so if, if this first quantile, so what is basically this data divides the the, this value divides the data into 25 versus 75. Hmm. So 25% lower value or 75% upper value. The median is divide the data into 25% lower, 25% upper. This Q3, third quartile will divide the data into 75, 25. So 75% lower value, 25% upper value. Okay. This figure, you can easily identify all these things. Now, Okay, there is a question also. And normally distributed data where most frequent number is 51 was collected. Total sample was 30. Where one number is incorrectly entered into the Excel sheet as XX. If the sum of the remaining 25 number is 1500, then calculate the number XX. Can you solve this? See, it's only depending on the mean, median, mode. If the question is not this one, calculate the number xx. The question is, cal what is the mean of the data? Can you solve this in one second? What is the mean of this data? Someone replies 1500 0 divided by 30. So 1500 0 is the sum of 29 numbers. It's not the sum of the 30 numbers. So that is wrong. 
50 is the mean, that is also wrong. One five zero zero plus x x divided by thirty. What is x x? How do you know that x is? There is in in options you have some numbers. Fifty one is the mean. How? What do you mean by normal distribution? I said normal distribution is very important and one question surely will come from this normal distribution. Okay. So normal distribution is it's a symmetry. Mean, median, mode are equal. That is the property. And how much is data capture from plus mean plus minus one SD two SD three SD. This is the three three important thing we just want to uh, 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 remember about the normal distribution. Okay, so if the data is normally distributed, means what? Mean, median, mode are equal. And what is the question? Even I highlighted that also. A normally distributed data, our most frequent number is fifty one. Most frequent number is mean fifty one is the mean mode. So what is the mean? 51 in a second. If we want to calculate this axis, then it will take some time. Okay. But for mean, it's very simple. Just one second answer. And this way, one can easily means play with your brain. Okay. And you will make an error. So question may be tricky. You just try to involve or see if there is a question means all the information is there in that question then only you are able to solve that otherwise it's not possible so just try to focus what information they are provided if they are provided some information there must be some reason behind that okay